that is what I needed to start the day off. Well, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Wait. We're still not really in a good place. <laughs> Let's lift you guys up a bit. Oh, oh, oh. Right, this is not working. I don't like this, we're going. It's hot right, as well. Sit, sit back to where you're gonna sit it's then. It's hot. Right, let's finally get this underway. That was actually winding me up a fair bit this morning, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a bit early. I'm not a very happy boy because you can't go wakeboarding because it's bloody snowing outside. Look at this. Today, we are gonna talk to you guys about a thing that happened the other day, which is very good. Yeah, it was pretty exciting. My brother, my younger brother, actually, actually. became the Alliance Wake Park Rider of the Year, which is a big achievement. Liam, how, how did you do that? Um, Tell me, I want to know, I want to get it this year. Basically, what I did was I set out in 2018, same as we're doing this year, actually. I was out to have a crazy year just have fun on my wakeboard and push the boundaries of what I was doing and yeah just push my riding as much as I could so we started the year out in America we were out there for the Lake Ronick shoot and then we went on to yard sale at Valdosta in Georgia and that was a huge competition I actually had to qualify into it and I ended up taking the win there which was a great start and then I guess throughout the year just kept riding as much as I could pushing my riding as much as I could and then I guess I had a few other good competition results and apparently made quite a good mark on the sport so thank you to Alliance for that I'm stoked on that one that is a great start to the 2019 year and I guess we're just going to show you guys today how much <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry I thought we were going to talk a little bit more like in depth about each thing that we did in the year well, that was my perception of if it. If you'd but. give me ten seconds to finish my sentence, I would have said that. Right. So I just dip. This video is not really about I me. I, on, I, <laughs> you are doing my head in today. <laughs> right. You're on thin ice. Pardon the pun. Yeah. What I was gonna say is today we are gonna tell you guys a little bit about our 2018 year and show you some of the highlights that we had and things that we've been up to, yeah, hopefully we can replicate that and do even more in 2019 and get it all on film again. Yeah, let's run some of our best bits of 2018. <laughs> <laughs> We hope you guys enjoyed watching those highlights. We've got some more to come for you now, but right now we're going to talk about our favourite moments. Obviously 2018 for me was a really big year because it was the first year that I was able to return back to my wakeboard. I remember being so nervous when I first went back riding and yeah, luckily for me, my knee held up and yeah, here we are today. But first ride back, this was one of the first clips which I got when I was home. I remember feeling so sketchy on the water after taking such a long time out, but this is one of my first clips, let's watch this bit. Ryan came straight back, pretty strong, as you can see from that video. How were you feeling after your first ride back? Yeah, really good actually. It was it was a little bit surprising. I thought that I was gonna be a bit more rusty. Well, I, I'm not gonna lie, I did feel very rusty at first, you but- You quite rusty. 
things, things did come back pretty soon after that. But I had my first ride back and we were home for maybe two or three months. Then we headed out to America for the product shoot, which was our first ever time at Lake Ronix together riding. How was that? You like that? Yeah, that was so much fun. That was, I think that was my first actual time riding at Lake Ronix. I've been out there a couple of times, but we had things like Hurricane Irma and Surf Expo on, so didn't actually get to ride. I forgot about Irma, actually. That was pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> we got some clips there, and it was super fun to ride at Lake Ronix with my brother. From Lake Ronix, we headed straight up to Valdosta Yard Sale. I actually didn't ride in the contest because I injured my ribs doing this. So I tore the cartilage between my ribs and my breastbone, so I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to laugh at that. Your breastbone? Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, so yeah, I had injured ribs, that's why I couldn't ride in the oh. contest, but Liam did all right in the competition, actually. Um, all right. Yeah. Where did you come again? I can't remember. <laughs> Number one. Say that. Hey! <laughs> the golden yard sale jacket, boy. <laughs> right. What else have we done? Yeah, that was good. I uh, obviously took the win there, which is pretty sick. You can check out that video that we made. Oh, that we <laughs> made? I made. Nah, the video that we made from that, the link is right here. Just click that if you want to watch it. But watch the end of this one first. And while you're at it, you can subscribe just here. <laughs> You're packing in the cool jacks. Actually, one of my favourite uh, times of the year next was Hypnotics. Yeah. Because we made such a fun video from there. Yeah, you can obviously check out that video. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess we're just slamming a few... A few? We will slam in a few clips from Hypnotics right now. I'm going to put a load of our Instagram clips together so you can check it out right now. Obviously, another highlight is always when we go down to Cornwall, we hit up Retallic Wake Park, those guys are always super sick. We flow ride there, do some cliff jumping and wakeboarding. So, I guess we're going to be down there this year and we'll let you guys know when we're heading down there. Yeah, 100%. Retallic, hook it up, it's so sick. If we do head down there, we will for sure be posting about it on our Instagram stories and everything like that so if we do head down and you are in the area make sure to come on down and ride with us yeah also massive shout out to the guys at wax they always hook us up that is the restaurant where is it watergate bay watergate bay so make sure you check out wax on watergate bay those guys are legends in there right and then we had lithuania lithuania that was a crazy one what happened there Talk us through what happened. Well, um, you didn't make it through the first round, did you? You came dead last in that well, contest. We went I'm, out I'm gonna clarify. So the year last year, 2017, I went out to Lithuania for the Wake 2 L comp. I actually won that competition, which was a huge thing for me in 2017. Went back in 2018, ended up finishing near enough dead last because <laughs> I don't know. There's been disputes about judging. I rode pretty bad as well. But then me and Alfie started celebrating. Alfie Constable, that is. We started celebrating pretty early afterwards. And then went out for a spray lap where I landed this, which I believe to actually be the first double tantrum to blind ever landed on yeah, cable to the flat. I'm pretty sure it was, to be fair. Without it being off a stepper. And so after our time at Wake 2 l at Wakeway, we headed down to 3 and 3 Cable Park where we had a whole crew of us together. We had a sick little room, um, we had a decent crew, and we were just, we spent, how long were we there for, a week? No, it was longer than that, was it? I think, yeah. Oh, we were there for maybe almost two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, at 2 and 3 for almost two weeks, and it was such a sick time just riding, putting on a load of demos just chilling with a sick crew, so that was always fun, and we're actually heading back to 3 on 3 in May 
for some more of that action. Make sure you guys are there. 313 is an insane cable park and the guys there always hook it up so make sure you get out there when we're there and yeah, I hope to see some of your faces over there. After Lithuania, where did we go? Where did we go after Lithuania? Oh, it's all subject. Oh. British Nationals. Devastating for Liam. Obviously, as I'm sure you all know, I managed to take the win on this one. We won't dive into details because <laughs> oh, Liam's, yeah. Liam's told it about a hundred times to everyone. We won't tell him how well I managed to take the default win. But we had such a fun time at the British Nationals. We managed to get a load of insane shots with the guys at Mantis. And obviously, top one and two on the podium is always a good result. So, so much fun down there. Up there, actually. They're up in the north, aren't they? Shout out to John, Sam and Connor. Always good to have you guys shooting. You guys always get the craziest shots of us. And then after that... Oh, we had Ibiza. Yeah, Ibiza. Ibiza was a crazy one. You can check out the link to that video right here. I, I think we've maxed out the links, Liam. Have we? Yeah, you can't. Can you only put a few in? Yeah. All right, we'll go to our channel after this. You can check out all our travel videos. We've got them in a set <laughs> playlist. You can check out a playlist right here. Oh, it's just like one big plug for our other videos. I know, it? but it's good. We've had a crazy year. We were out in Bali, one of my favourite places on earth. So much fun. Didn't do so much on the wakeboard side of things, but yeah, insane time. We were there for two months in total and just got a load of surfing pictures. Surfing was absolutely crazy. I remember Ryan getting held down on one wave and we I actually was walking up the beach because I thought it died. We couldn't see him anywhere. And he walks off with this mystic shirt, ripped to shreds, like where he'd been ripped down by a wave. I was I was paddling out, just got in the in the riptide and I just saw this fat one rolling in, knew that I was gonna get barreled, so I paddled in, <laughs> got up on the top of the wave, shouted to the boys, couldn't see him, I was like, boys! Went like that. He <laughs> dropped shackers in there. Oh yeah, next thing, the wash back, what's it called? I don't know. The backwash got me. And you got done. Yeah, sent me up at least 10 metres and yeah, that's good. <laughs> nah, that's a complete lie. I just sucked at surfing, went straight over the nose, got my shirt ripped off. I I thought I dislocated my shoulder, it was a pretty bad slam. Turns out, I was a mile up the beach. Honestly, a good mile. <laughs> and I was walking back with my shirt ripped. Everyone's staring at me. I don't even know if I'm walking in the right direction, but luckily I found the boys because it could have been pretty bad if not. I would have been walking back down yeah. and never got home. Anyway, Bali was an insane time, of course, in the travel videos playlist part of our channel. You can check out all these videos of where we've been traveling. Obviously, in more recent times of 2018, we finished up going to Thailand and then into the Philippines, which I'm sure you guys have all seen, but we'll chuck some highlights in from there nonetheless. Oh my oh god, god fuck me! <laughs> was that chair fart? Mm, yeah, it was. <laughs> Alright. Alright, well, I think that does it for today. We filmed a lot. Yeah. Apologies, it's not the best video in the world today. We are pretty much snowed in, so we can't go wakeboarding, we can't get outside and do much else. Anyway, I believe that's it from us today. Thank you guys for joining us in another vlog. We're going to be back with some crazy content. We head out to Argentina later this week. Yeah. And we are going to be doing some crazy stuff out there. We're out there with Team GB for the World Championships. So make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. We're going to be up to so much craziness. We've got the team joining us, and I'm sure we'll be able to get For some people sure. doing some crazy stuff. It should be a fun time. Yeah, make sure that you subscribe and give us a big thumbs up, and we'll check you guys in the next video. See you later.